Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Like before, again I bring the some latest update of the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam's dong. So guys, today we will discuss about the latest exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam dongs and the Wu changing in the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam's dong. So guys, without wasting time, we start the video. If my video is helpful for you, please like and subscribe my channel. I pray for you all. God give you long life, good health and wealth and the best of luck. Hi guys. Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar Today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for the latest updates and insights on the Iraqi Dinar. Today, we have some major news to share with you, so let's get right into it. First, from Intel Group Frank 26, it's important to understand that it's not a delay it's a process. Some might think there's a delay because of the missing 57 trillion in R's but they know exactly where those funds are. And by the way, it's not actually 57 trillion. Stay tuned for more details on that. Next, Intel Group Bruce Vivis updates us that rates are still climbing and moving in the right direction. The banks are ready for us, and this is a positive sign for all investors. From Intel Guru Maxi via PDK, I genuinely believe this is our month. This could be a turning point for all of us, so keep an eye out for the big news. Now, Intel Guru Frank 26 provides exciting information about the third phase of the monetary reform being introduced in Iraq. There are seven parts to phase three, including the ability to issue medium and long term securities, increasing gold reserves, and offering new high quality currency. This is a significant step forward. Switching gears to international news, let's talk about Prince Mohammed and Aramco's flotation. Initially, the plan was to list 5% of Aramco on a major global stock exchange to support Vision 2030. However, due to various concerns, only 1.5% was floated on the Saudi B in 2019, generating $25.6 billion. This move was not just about financing but also about pushing for a more open economy. While there have been challenges, Saudi analyst Mohammed bin S remains optimistic, pointing to non-oil GDP growth of 4.6% in 2023 as evidence that Vision 2030 is on track. That's all for today's update. Thanks for tuning in to Iraqi Dinar today. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Stay informed, stay engaged, and we'll see you in the next video. I am Ali, signing off. Peace and prosperity to all.